Danish Prince Christian's 18th birthday was celebrated with a gala dinner worthy of a future king. Members of the royal family from around the world traveled to Christiansborg Palace in Copenhagen on Sunday to celebrate the momentous occasion. The eldest son of Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary is currently second in line to the Danish throne while his grandmother Queen Margrethe is the monarch, his father is the current heir. The event's guest list included several future monarchs from across Europe. Princess Elizabeth of Belgium, 21, attended the event, while Princess Ingrid Alexandra of Norway, 19, joined her parents, Crown Prince Hakon and Crown Princess Metamarit. Princess Estelle, 11, of Sweden, also attended the celebration with her parents, Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel. Princess Katerina Amalia of the Netherlands, the 19-year-old heir to the Dutch throne, also joined the event. The Scandinavian royal families are extremely close in both their royal duties and personal ties. It is not uncommon to see Swedish, Norwegian and Danish royal families vacationing together or attending important events such as weddings, funerals and christenings. They also often act as godparents to each other's children in fact, Princess Victoria, Prince Hakon and Princess Metamarit are godparents to Prince Christian. These royal gatherings often call for epic group portraits. When Norwegian Princess Ingrid Alexandra turned 18 last year, the four future queens of Europe and the future Grand Duke gathered for a photo. In addition to a portrait of the heirs and a family portrait, a large group shot was released. The group includes several members of the royal family, including Crown Princess Mary and Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, Queen Matilde of Belgium, King Felipe of Spain, Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden, King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, and Grand Duke Guillaume and Grand Duchess Stephanie of Luxembourg. Earlier this year, many members of the royal family traveled to Jordan for the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa. The royal Hashemite court released an iconic photo of the June 1st wedding, taken at an evening banquet at al Hassaniya Palace in Amman. Kate Middleton and Prince William posed alongside members of the royal family from around the world, including the King and Queen of Malaysia, the Sultan of Brunei and even William's cousin, Princess Beatrice. Prince Christian's birthday gala was also attended by representatives of some of Denmark's youth organizations, as well as young people who have distinguished themselves in the world of sports, arts and culture. In addition to the guest list, the palace invited about 200 young people from the Danish Commonwealth, allowing each of the municipalities of Denmark, Greenland and the Faroe Islands to invite two 18-year-old guests to the party. Last month, the Danish royal house released invitations to a palace party that also applied a formal dress code. Gertz Royal's blog noted on X that the dress code required ball gowns, uniforms, white tie and awards to be worn, and tiaras were also appropriate attire. In addition to the gala dinner, Prince Christian's milestone birthday will again be celebrated on November 14, when he will attend a meeting of the Council of State, which consists of government ministers, and declare that he wishes to abide by the Danish constitution. Then Prince Christian can be appointed head of state. Prince Christian will not be given a seat on the Council of State until there is a change of throne, the Danish royal household said of the important step. In June, the Danish royal household announced that Prince Christian will not receive the state funding he is entitled to by law when he turns 18. Instead, he will continue to pursue his studies, and the matter will be revisited when he turns 21. Or if there is a change of throne. Christian's decision to postpone his annual allowance followed in the footsteps of Princess Katerina Amalia of the Netherlands. In June 2021, the heiress to the Dutch throne wrote a letter to Prime Minister Mark Rutte explaining that she would forego the nearly $2 million state-funded allowance to which she was entitled on her 18th birthday. The Princess of Orange has said she will not accept the allowance until she assumes her full royal role.